Hi, we're Roy and Karen, and this is our week in the villages. And I'm sure all of you want to hear about the 800 pound gorilla in the room. You'll have to wait till later. We're going to save that for the end. What do you think of our new studio? We're, we're working on it. This mm -hmm. is a work in progress. Maybe take care of the echo, have a little mm -hmm. bit more control over the light, and see how it all works out. Oh, we had a lot of fun this week. Yes, we did. We went to a party, didn't we? So I, I work for one of the organizations that's considered a dream maker, the mm -hmm. folks that work with it. We all work for the villages. We all work hard for the villagers, and the family rewards us for this and it was an amazing event just so much fun 50s dance party got to dress up and see people and and socialize outside the office a lot of people dressed up i was very surprised it was just so much fun we met so many people oh, there yeah. there's people that you see that you don't really get to chat with because you're all busy and there's people that you talk on the phone, you get to meet in person. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was we're awesome. Live, we're live in the person, huh? Say hi to everybody. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. Okay. There you are. It was for family. I was gonna say that they had a whole variety of food trucks there. They had a lobster roll yeah. truck, which we had. It was really good. Mm -hmm. They had a, a a Greek truck, so we were able to get euros. Mm -hmm. They had every all kind. kinds, all kinds of comfort food. I saw people going by with mac and cheese, and it was a wonderful party. And when we walked in. The whole Morse family was there to greet yeah, us. Uh, awesome. Mark Morse and Jennifer, Jennifer Parr, mm -hmm. and uh, just, you know all the names. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so and Tracy nice. and her family, mm -hmm. it, it was really neat to be, see them participating and enjoying right along with you. Yeah, they weren't putting on airs. No, oh, their heart and soul is going into this and mm -hmm. you can feel it everywhere. I felt uh, they were very appreciative of all the dream makers. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we did this week is we went to the Tampa RV Super Show. Why would we do a thing like that? So we could touch and feel and look at the things that we've been daydreaming about online. And with these little events that we had last week that he's gonna talk about, makes you start thinking Maybe we should move things up a little bit and get a little bit more serious about some of this. But you guys know we went on that cruise. We weren't happy. We almost lost our boys. So really, when we start thinking about the next vacation, then we start thinking, okay, what are we going to do with these guys? And the answer is we want to bring them with us. Yeah. I, I like traveling that way. I always have. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. We want to go see our daughter mm -hmm. in, in Texas. Mm -hmm. And we could fly, and we could board the dogs, but by the time we're done, we're just going to worry. It's not going to be as convenient. And well, look at this RV we're talking about. I mean, you could park it in a parking spot. It's, <laughs> it's like 23 feet long. Uh, I can drive it and not feel like I'm going like this down the road. And and at this point in our lives, we we need to share the driving. Yeah. And this RV will make her feel comfortable. We did see a brand new one at the show. We're not buying new. <laughs> you lose 20% right out the door. You drive it off the lot, you lose 20% in depreciation. Now the industry has died. They're not selling any. The price is starting to come down. We found a great deal. Some of those people found out what it's like to empty the poop tank. <laughs> <laughs> I think that may have something to do with it, but we, we got a great deal. 
as you're watching this video, it's very possible that the inspector that I'm sending over a couple of days before you watch this video has said, nah, you're not buying this thing. Or he said, oh, it's great, go get it. We don't know. By the time we're recording this, we don't know. So it'll be next week when you find out if we actually, in fact, bought this. And maybe we'll be doing a, a live update on Facebook. So you better get on Facebook if you, you want to see get what's on going Facebook. on. Click the follow button on our Facebook page. And if you don't know, we've done lives from the squares uh, into our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And if you're not one of our Facebook friends, you're, you're missing, missing out. out. If in fact this goes through, I will be flying to the Midwest to pick this up. It's 1,100 miles away. I'll be flying out there on Thursday the 9th to pick it up, to make the deal, finalize it on Friday the 10th. And then I'll be driving it back that weekend. And maybe I'll do some lives and then you guys will be the first to know. <laughs> We don't even know what the heck we're going to do with it and when we're going to do anything yeah. with it. And so Pro our schedule and our week's been... Right. Things that are a little abnormal, not accustomed to dealing with, and things that are very normal, getting back out and taking the boys out for our morning walk and maybe a little bit later than usual so we catch some footage that we normally don't get well, because that's the light a good was better. And that was a good segue, honey. I so love it. So we left about an hour later than usual to walk the boys mm -hmm. and what with the sun being out or semi semi out what did we see we got to go down our usual route to go see the eagle's nest and there they were both of them mm -hmm. sitting out loud and proud waiting for us to come along with our camera and just as i was waiting to see i think he's gonna go because we're in the loop and the dogs are here and they're maybe they're gonna fly away and poof off one went all right, so what happened to Roy? Okay, as a person who has experience with what a heart feels like, because I had open heart surgery back in 2011, and then a couple of years ago, I had another minor heart attack and uh, they put a stent in. I actually, I, I'm, I'm intimate with the way a heart feels. The same way you might know, oh, my belly hurts. I know when my heart is hurting. I know exactly what that feels like. I also know how I felt a month before my last heart attack. And that's what I was feeling. I know what this is. So I went to the cardiologist and he gave me the options. And one of them was to go in and get heart catheterization, which just means they put a camera in there and they go look around. And they did find a 90% blocked artery. They put a stent in. We were in there on Wednesday at three in the afternoon. We were out of there at 8.30 at night. Okay, boys, I am headed back to the hospital to get your daddy, because we miss your daddy. I was back at work the next morning. I remember saying to Karen and my boss, uh, well, you know, I don't know if I'll make it through the whole day. I'll, maybe I'll be tired. No, nah, I made it through the whole day. It was not a big deal. <laughs> Somebody else might not have realized right. what that well, was. One of my colleagues was going through similar things and a little different, but symptoms of, of the same kind of thing. And one of the things they were monitoring kept her in the hospital for three days mm -hmm. and, and no stent because once they did get that procedure done, the blockage wasn't 90%, it was less. <laughs> so eventually sent home to wait. And yeah. that's not easy, guys. No. I mean, that's no, that whole process is, we're so glad the way it turned out. I'm very glad the way it turned out, but it uh, doesn't go that way for everybody. And no. But. Mm -hmm. That's what happened, and thank you guys. So many comments about that video. Mm -hmm. Literally, 
I was in tears, like literally in tears by some of the comments that came through. You guys are truly, truly amazingly wonderful, warm-hearted people. Yeah. I just, I was just really feeling it. Thank you so much. But what's interesting is we did a video back last September when we saw this same RV in a, in a dealership not far from here. They just happened to have one, so we went to go check it out. This was when we were at Cocoa Beach. So I'm gonna put a link to it right here, and you can go check it out if you wanna see a video of this RV. In the meantime, we appreciate you stopping by. See ya.